Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Gadget Radar. My name is Kevin and today I'm gonna to be reviewing some crazy kitchen gadgets that may simplify or complicate your life even more. So first product up is this Illuminati symbol looking watermelon slicer. And it doesn't look very sharp, but for a watermelon, you might just get the job done. Now, I don't see why anybody would need a gadget like this, a watermelon slicer. I always thought that a knife got the job done, but hey, whatever floats your goat. All right, so first up, I need a watermelon, unless you guys want to volunteer your heads. Ah, here we go. That's a watermelon. Thank you for that. So yeah, we got our watermelon here. That seedless, flavorless Trader Joe's watermelon. You know, in our culture, there are many ways to figure out if watermelon is good or not. You simply pick it up, knock on it, and if you don't get a knock back, that means it's bad. It doesn't look too complicated. It looks like it'll simply go through. So, here we go. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I don't understand what's the point of benching 200 pounds if I can't even slice it with watermelon. Yes, thank you. Let's go classic. Classic always works. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, I've just been told over here that you have to cut off the ends of the watermelon before using the watermelon slicer. And yeah, let's get this show on the road with the watermelon. I mean, I don't understand the point of the watermelon slicer if we're gonna use knife. Okay. All right, guys, now that the ends are cut, now we can... Oh, <laughs> duh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, now, now we can do this. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty, looking like a flower. Oh, snap. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. This is a hundred times way better than using a knife. I mean, just look at this. It's beautiful. Six out of 10. Mainly because I had to use this knife to cut it off. I mean, if I already have this knife on hand, why not just use the knife at first? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but after seeing how beautiful this thing comes out and Hold on, let me get that middle part. That middle part looks tantalized. So here it is. This is a Baby Yoda toaster. So first things first, we're gonna put this toast in. As you know, no one eats these. Uh, so we go straight to the middle. The good part, you put them in there and... Is this defective or... It's not... So, first things first, you make sure that the toaster's plugged in. <laughs> All right, that's how you know it's gonna be good toast. You feel the burn on your fingers. And now we can proceed to put it in there. I think that should work. And we'll wait a couple minutes. Sometimes you just find yourself waiting for toast, contemplating life. You know, toast helps. You may not think so, but toast helps. It's it's very, oh man, we're done. Let's go. It is time to eat the toast. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we ended up getting off-brand Walmart <laughs> toast of baby Grogu. <laughs> okay, it's cute. It's cute. Look at that. The relationship is uncanny. Now I wonder, if I take a bite out of this bread, will I get force powers too? <laughs> force choke. I say a good five. Five out of ten. Instead of getting a baby Grogu, I ended up getting Stewie from Family Guy, so it's not too much like Grogu.
here it is. Oh, it's the Pop Light Hot Air Popper by Presto. Now, I'm a huge movie goer, so you already know I gotta have my popcorn. Oh, baby. So let's check out how this works. We can start by plugging in ah, this thing with the extension again. That's the last product. Oh, oh, it's on, it's on. How do you turn it off now? I guess it doesn't come off. So, first things first is you're gonna plug it in, is you're gonna wait to plug it in because once it's on, you can't turn it off. So, to everybody from Pop Light watching, add an on and off button, you know, it, it, it's, it's not too difficult. So, let's start first by grabbing our popping corn. Apparently you need half a cup. That looks like half a cup. That's not enough for me, I'll tell you that much. And you pour it in there. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. And now we plug it in. Oh, wait, 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 the bowl. You don't want these babies flying all over the place. There you go. Look at that. If only you had an on and off button, Pop Light. And now we wait. And I talk over this thing because it's very loud. Yeah? Yeah, you'll never have this problem with a microwave. How long does this take? <laughs> with a microwave, it would have been done like in 10 seconds. Do, do you guys have butter for, for this or not? No? How do you guys have popcorn and no butter? I was like having like Kool-Aid and no sugar. What's, what's wrong with y'all? Oh, oh, we have our first pop. We, oh. That's very anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, oh, that's cool. You know what, I take back every bad thing I said about this product. Just looking at this thing come out is very cool. Oh, that's nice. That is nice flavorless popcorn. And... Oh, <laughs> that, that one scared me. <laughs> that one got me. I can't say that it is a very effective product because, it, like I said, it doesn't have an on and off button. You know, it's pretty annoying. You gotta plug it in and plug it out. Now, if I were to give this a review out of 10, I'd give it a good seven. It's very, very simple. It's very simple to use and you have the options to choose a variety of kernels for this product. And it looks visually pleasing when you see them popping. It's like you're watching birth. So the next gadget here on Gadget Radar is this Chef In Cobcorn Stripper. Now this is not my favorite type of stripper, but it'll do. Oh, come on, don't be dirty, man. Come on, I'm, I'm talking about paint stripper. The usual way we, we Latinos do it is we peel it off with a knife and then we go and sell it. So hopefully this will make it a lot easier for us in the future. I'm just gonna pull it out. <laughs> oh yes, look at that. Everywhere. <laughs> oh snap. I guess this corn's a little thick, huh? Woo! I guess that's as far as it goes. Unless. Okay, no. Now let's try it the opposite way. Look at that. And there you have it, guys. There's your product. <laughs> There's your corn on the cob slicer. I couldn't get to the bottom of it. Um or maybe I did, did it wrong. Ah, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, look at that. Now, and I'd give this a good seven and a half or, or eight because in terms of safety, it's a lot safer, safer than peeling it with a knife. It's pretty cool. It's very satisfying if you're one of those people that get satisfied by seeing perfectly sliced things. You see, not a single piece of corn was missed. Not a single piece of corn was missed. Moving on to the next one, guys.
good old <clears throat> indoor s'more maker. Now, s'mores are no longer just for campfires. Now you can do them indoors, and you already know y'all boy loves some s'mores, as you guys can tell right here. I eat them. So what we do with this is we put the little hands in the back, little noodle arms, and we put them in order. You see that? Boom, ain't that a beauty? And then we put the two hands on top. And now we're gonna grab our water and pour it in this little bowl type thingy. Um, carefully not to wet the graham cracker. Now, next up, you grab yourself a little microwave. If the studio burns down, it wasn't me. We close it, you put it on for 30 seconds and not a minute because if you put a minute, your s'more is gonna come out looking like Darth Vader after Mustafar. Hungry for a s'more, I haven't had them in forever. The last time I went camping <clears throat> was years ago. And all right, no melted plastic, which look at that. And now, in the good old fashion, we give it a little squeeze down. Oh, look at that. This is the best way to get diabetes. Oh, a good old s'more. And there you guys have it. A s'more, an indoor made s'more. No campfire necessary. Mm. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you guys gotta try this. No, no, not for my plate. You guys get your own. So the producers are telling me now that the significance of this gadget so that the s'more won't spread it anywhere. After eating the s'more, 10 out of 10. Hey guys, so as you can see, I made a little bit of a mess, but I hope you enjoyed this kitchen theme episode of Gadget Radar. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course, if you want to see a whole bunch of cool new gadgets coming up. And if you excuse me now, I'm going to go finish the rest of the food while the crew cleans this up. Thank you very much. There's no way I'm giving this back. And don't chase after me.